So today is April 11th and officially AMD Ryzen R5 or the Ryzen 5 uh, series of CPUs is officially out for sale worldwide. So here's all you gotta know if you're interested in Ryzen 5. Hey, what's up guys, this is Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And as it's April 11th today, and as promised by AMD, AMD Ryzen R5 series of CPUs goes officially on sale. So if you're interested in that lineup of CPUs and if you are interested in using those CPUs for building your computer, your new computer, for gaming and content creation or anything that, you know, that might be, here's what you have to know. So. AMD launched four CPUs, so all overclockable, universally overclockable CPUs, and they work on the B350M and the X370 architecture. So these two motherboards will support these four CPUs. So now let's go in depth, you know, one by one into all the four CPUs. But before that, these lineup of CPUs are competing against the highest in i3 to the highest in i5. So from the i3-7350K to the i5-7600K in terms of pricing. Performance is still a question mark and you will see what actually, you know, it really performs like when the Ryzen R5 benchmarks come up. So for now, let's talk what the, you know, physical specs of the CPUs are. So there are four CPUs, the R5-1400, the R5-1500X, the R5-1600 and the R5-1600X ranging from $169 to $249. So that comes to the price of the i3-7350K and the i5-7600K. And the CPUs are all overclockable and they're actually really good. They all support hyper-threading and have Turbo Boost technology as well. And two of the CPUs, the R5-1400 and the 1500X come with their you know Wraith coolers. The 1600 and the 1600X don't come with one. So starting off with the R5-1400, which is a quad-core CPU with four threads, it starts at $169 and will be supported by the B350M chipset. It comes with a clock speed of 3.2 GHz and also boost up to 3.6. It's overclockable, it comes with a Wraith uh, Stealth cooler, and it's actually a really good CPU for builds under $500 to you know $600. And I actually have uh, PC build guides for all four of these CPUs on my channel. They're linked in the description below as well as in the card section so you can just watch them. I have one $500 build, one $600 build, $800 and a $900 using all four CPUs. So if you're interested in these CPUs, please watch the builds that I've done which might help you pick the best companions alongside which you might have to use if you're interested in these CPUs. So the R5-1400, 3.2 GHz, 4 cores, 4 threads and really good for content creation. It's overclockable and it's actually a really good entry level CPU. So moving up to the R5-1500X, again quad cores, 4 cores, 4 threads. It retails for $189, 3.2 GHz to a 3.6 GHz base and boost. Overclockable comes with the Wraith Spire Cooler and $189 and this can be used in a $600 to a $800 build. I actually have a $600 build using this CPU so you can go check them out. And it's a really good CPU again supported by the X370 and B350M chipset and should do well for you know mid tier gaming PCs if you're into that you know bang for your buck performance. Next, going to that higher end of spectrum of the R5 series, we have the R5-1600. This retails for $219, doesn't come with a cooler, but comes with 6 cores and 12 threads. So that's good for multi-threaded tasks such as video editing, rendering, 3D modeling. And it also has 6 cores clocked to 3.6 GHz, which are really good and can be overclocked. And this also gives you better single-threaded performance as well as really good multi-threaded performance for only $219 which the Intel counterparts don't offer. So here if you are into content creation, modeling, 3D rendering, photo editing, all kind of that stuff, please choose the Ryzen 5 1600. $219 and it's really good CPU again supported by the X370 and a B350M chipset. Moving up to the highest end R5 CPU, that's the 1600X, you get again 6 cores, 12 threads, 3.6 GHz to a 4 GHz boost. Uh, whereas the, three, uh, the R5-1600 is a 3.2 GHz to 3.6 GHz boost. Uh, the 1600X also doesn't come with a cooler. Retails for $249, so the highest end thing. 
which you can use into a PC that's up to $1,000 with SSDs and CPUs. You can pair this with RX 480 and you have a beast. So you can overclock this, supported by the same two motherboards, same two B350, uh, B350M and the X370 chipset and can also offer really good multi-threaded performance. So the difference between the 1600X and the R7 series is just on the multi-threaded performance because the R7 1800X and the 1600X from the R5 series are pretty similar in performance when it comes to single core performance and gaming performance, whereas they're only differing in the multi-threaded tasks such as video editing and stuff. So if you are interested in the 1800X and you are only going to be gaming, don't go for that, save your money, get better parts alongside the 1600X and you'll have a really solid PC. So that's all about it guys. I have, again, as I said before, I have four builds using all four CPUs linked in the description as well as in the card section. So that wraps up this video. As well, if you like this video, give this video a massive thumbs up, get subscribed to TechDorts for more videos like this and drop that notification thing so you don't miss out on the you know, regular uploads. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.